नमस्कार हाय दिस इज डॉक्टर एम एस कंवर आई एम सीनियर कंसल्टेंट रेस्पिटी मेडिसिन क्रिटिकल केयर स्लीप मेडिसिन एंड ऑल्सो सीनियर मेंबर ऑफ द कोविड टीम एंड लीड इन लंग ट्रांसप्लांट प्रोग्राम हियर एट इंद्रप्रस्थ पोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली वॉट इज ओमिक्रॉन वेरियंट वेल एवरीबडी इज वरीड अबाउट दैट द गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ वरीड अबाउट दैट द पब्लिक इज वरीड अबाउट दैट एंड दे आर बिन ऑलरेडी न्यू रूल्स रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंड क्वारंटीन uh in place now in many countries and uh, there are so many countries who have been put on watch list um what is omicron variant you know this is an offshoot uh with a lot of mutations 32 mutations to the 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 uh, covid virus so and all the mutations have taken place on the uh, spike protein there could be other variations too we are talking only about the spike protein 32 uh, uh, variations or mutations i would say mutations which have led to a change in character of the disease now what is the change in character of the disease for example uh, the symptoms which were predominantly cough fever breathlessness and rapidly progressing on to respiratory failure oxygen falling in the delta variant is actually not seen like that in omni uh, omicron it is more like fatigue severe fatigue headache body aches and general feeling of run down a bit of cough a bit of fever but so far it has been seen especially in south africa that the disease has not actually led on to too much of hospitalization or any increase in number of deaths hospitalizations have increased because the number with omicron have uh, risen sharply in fact over the last few weeks the numbers have risen sharply in south africa mainly 90% because of omicron not because of delta so um if we say that the number of hospitalizations have increased but no, the death has not increased that's a good sign now on the whole we uh, there is also a thinking you know, we are optimist and we think that if this uh, uh, variant takes the place of delta replaces delta worldwide it might actually be beneficial for uh, human beings because then it will be not be lethal mostly and it will uh, cause a decreased uh, or a let's say a very mild sort of disease or mild to moderate or mostly mild disease yet it will be able to confer the immunity to the public at large so the and if it is very highly transmissible as they are saying it is 3 to 6 times more transmissible uh, transmissible than delta then it could probably spread very fast yet cause a disease like more like a flu rather than the the real delta corona covid disease that you have seen uh, last year or earlier this year so uh, I, i optimistically thinking it's not a bad uh, it is more transmissible but don't worry it's probably not going to cause a, a severe disease at all and uh, uh, it probably may be a blessing in disguise so stay put but uh, even if we are vaccinated we should still continue to take precautions and vaccination still would be uh, our um, basic strategy to fight against uh, all these new variants by enhancing our immunity so vaccination plus uh, the the three uh, strategies of uh, uh, distancing hand washing uh, uh, what is hand hygiene and avoiding contact uh, with with uh, all other people and congregations and all that using a mask these are the basic strategies which we have been following for a, a, almost 20 months now so please continue to follow thank you